In April 1977, the Northern Fleet of the USSR Navy embarked on a massive naval drill, flexing their maritime might. This large-scale maneuver involved ships and aviation, aiming to hone combat skills and test the coordination of Soviet naval forces. But beneath the deceptive tranquility of the ice, HMS Swiftshore lurked, embarking on a covert pursuit, risking an international incident. The submarine threaded the fine line between proximity and peril. Swiftshore's mission was to collect information about Russia's most recent aircraft carrier's noise signature, something that could only be done by sailing right into the middle of a fully armed Soviet battle group. For years, the true nature and outcomes of this clandestine mission remained shrouded in secrecy, its haunting images only recently seeing the light of day. During the Cold War, NATO nations closely monitored the Soviet Union's military developments, including its naval fleet. In the late 1960s, the Soviet Union initiated the 1143 project, aiming to build up a notable heavy aircraft carrier. By 1970, the lead ship of this project, Kiev, was under construction in the Black Sea shipyard at Mykolaiv. Launched in late 1972, Kiev officially joined the Soviet Navy by the end of 1975 and later began her service with the Northern Fleet. NATO nations were determined to gather intelligence on this Soviet naval asset. They sought information about the 1143 project and Kiev herself. The United States, Great Britain, and other Western countries employed various means to accomplish this goal. Whenever a Soviet aircraft carrier ventured to sea, NATO ships and planes closely tracked her movements, attempting to record her maneuvers and gather data on her capabilities and design features. They also made efforts to capture photographs and footage. Despite their efforts, some vital information remained elusive. They couldn't access details about the underwater part of the ship or obtain high-quality audio recordings of her noise signature. Such missing data could have been valuable for understanding the ship's capabilities and aiding in the development of their own submarine forces and sailor training. In the high-stakes world of Cold War espionage, every piece of information about the enemy's military assets was a potential advantage. The quest to comprehend the Soviet Union's heavy aircraft carrier, Kiev, was of paramount importance. On the other side of the Iron Curtain, the Soviet aircraft carrier Kiev stood tall as the flagship of Project 1143. In 1970, the Soviet Union initiated the Kiev-class aircraft carriers, with Kiev being the first to emerge from Project Oral. These carriers were originally conceived to rival American supercarriers, but practicality led to a more cost-effective design. They served a dual purpose as cruisers and aircraft carriers, earning the nickname Heavy Aviation Cruisers in the Soviet Navy. Their unique design facilitated passage through the strategically vital Turkish Straits. The Kiev-class carriers featured an island superstructure, an angled flight deck covering two-thirds of the ship's length, and an array of surface-to-air and surface-to-surface -surface missiles. They excelled in anti-aircraft, anti-submarine, and surface warfare, supporting submarines, surface ships, and naval aviation. Four Kiev-class carriers were commissioned. China repurposed the first two as museums, while the third was scrapped. The fourth, Admiral Gorshkov, became the INS Vikramaditya, serving the Indian Navy and highlighting the class's enduring legacy. Commissioned in 1975, Kiev was a hybrid carrier capable of launching VTOL fighter jets and helicopters. She featured powerful missile launchers and advanced sonar systems, including low-frequency, medium-frequency, and variable-depth sonar. In 1977, during the height of the Cold War, a dramatic naval episode unfolded in the icy waters of the Barents Sea, showcasing Kiev's prowess and the Soviet Navy's strength on the world stage. Amid simmering tensions between the United Kingdom and the Soviet Union, the British Royal Navy's Conqueror-class nuclear submarine embarked on a mission of paramount importance to obtain reconnaissance and data extraction from the Soviet cruiser Kiev. It was a daring endeavor, one that demanded a vessel capable of unparalleled stealth and audacity. Thus, HMS Swiftshore, the flagship of the Swiftshore project, was commissioned into the Royal Navy in 1973. This nuclear-powered behemoth was engineered for deep-sea patrolling across vast oceanic expanses to detect and track potential enemy vessels. Swiftshore boasted state-of-the-art technology and equipment, ensuring peak search efficiency and lethal weapon deployment. But what truly distinguished the Swiftshore class was their mastery of silence. Advanced noise reduction techniques, such as the utilization of isolation rafts, rendered them nearly invisible to enemy sonar. Additionally, the introduction of pump jet propulsion allowed for almost silent underwater travel, although HMS Swiftshore retained her traditional unshrouded propeller. In total, six submarines of this class were commissioned, 
headed by HMS Swiftshore in 1973. April 1977 witnessed the Soviet Navy's Northern Fleet undertaking a major exercise called North 77, a potent display of their naval prowess and an opportunity to refine their battle skills. Yet unbeknownst to them, a British submarine's covert operation would be tagging along. Under the leadership of Captain John Speller, HMS Swiftshore bore the weight of both her crew's aspirations and the anticipation of the British Royal Navy, with a clear mandate to covertly approach and gather intelligence from the Soviet cruiser Kiev, Swiftshore entered the Barents Sea. In the spring of 1977, the icy waters of the Barents Sea saw a momentous happening. Exercise Sever 77, at the forefront of this fleet was the Kiev, a relatively recent addition, her crew grappling with the intricacies of her sophisticated systems. Flanking the carrier was an assembly of cruisers, destroyers, and an oiler. Hidden in these icy depths, the crew of Swiftshore embarked on a clandestine pursuit. The task was daunting, to shadow the Soviet armada without detection. This dance of discretion meant the submarine had to lurk just beyond the reach of enemy sonar. As time ticked on, Swiftshore discreetly neared Kiev, ultimately taking a position just beneath the behemoth. His proximity was crucial for gathering intelligence, but it was also fraught with peril. Every single movement of the cruiser overhead was a reminder of the imminent danger. The enormous Kiev, with its 41,000-ton displacement, dwarfed Swiftshore, which was a mere 4.9 thousand tons. Yet, the crew's determination was unwavering. In the silent depths, the submarine's periscope rose, emerging just below the surface and mere inches from the Kiev's hull. This vantage point proved invaluable. Swiftshore captured essential acoustic data and managed to snap photographs of the cruiser's underbelly, while the depth made acquiring clear images challenging. The glimpses of hull fragments, propellers, and shafts offered invaluable insights. With their mission accomplished, Swiftshore tactically retreated, retracing their stealthy approach. They remained undetected, concealed by the turbulence left in the wake of the Soviet vessels, patiently navigating their way out. Safeguarding their invaluable intelligence, Swiftshore eventually charted a course home, returning to the sanctuary of her UK base, having played her part in a quiet but vital game of naval espionage. HMS Swiftshore's mission was a remarkable success. Captain John Speller's leadership led to effectively tracking the Soviet aircraft-carrying cruiser Kiev, a mission known only to a privileged few. For years, the mission and its findings were concealed, but recent revelations have shed light on this shadowy operation. The recording of noise emitted by Kiev provided valuable insights into her characteristics, advancing British and foreign sonar systems, submarine technology, and weaponry. Though the Swiftshore-class submarines were retired prematurely due to reactor issues, they paved the way for more advanced successors like the noise-reduction-equipped Trafalgar-class. Kiev underwent an overhaul in the 1980s before being decommissioned in 1993. Her journey didn't end there, as she found a new life in China, transformed into a theme park and later a luxurious hotel.